All right, welcome back to another one of our film reviews. Today we are talking Pittsburgh Steelers rookie Mason McCormick. This rookie out of South Dakota State continues to get better and better, and he had a massive impact for the Steelers against the Baltimore Ravens. And we'll break down all the different things he did so well to help lead the Steelers to a big division victory. As always, if you appreciate this content, give us a like, give us any comments with any feedback you might have. But without further ado, let's jump right into the film. All right, let's start with a standard inside zone run concept. There is McCormick right there at right guard for the Pittsburgh Steelers. So everyone up front from Pittsburgh on the offensive line is going to take a step to their left, the right side of your screen, and work in that gap and just get a hat on a hat. So we're going to get McCormick working this way, getting a hat on a hat, whether it's this defensive lineman coming across his face or someone filling in this gap. We're going to get Broderick Jones working this direction. McCormick, like I said, working this way. Brazier working this way. A little zone double team here working up to the next level. Moore working in 97. Tight end working up this direction. And we're going to take the H back right there, number 83. He's going to across, come across the formation and kick out number 95, the in man on the line of scrimmage. Basically is how this is going to work is sort of like a design cutback. So you're going to get everybody blocking this way and basically creating a seal here. We're going to get the tight end coming right here across the formation, get a seal there. Najee Harris is going to work this way and then cut back through just like that. Really nice design play, really well executed by the Steelers. But folks, I want you to watch McCormick delivering an impact block at the point of attack. He opens up this hole here. Let's check it out. All right, there's a snap. You can see everyone working the gap to their left, the right side of your screen on the Steelers' offense. You can see the tight end coming across the formation, number 83. Kicks out number 95, gets him on the ground. Nice work. You can see Jones working up to 23 there, delivers the seal. Najee Harris cuts back behind for a really nice run. But I want you guys to watch McCormick right here. On 96, right there, works to his left. 96 works to cut across, cut across his face, excuse me. McCormick keeps working and then buries him on his back. Pancake block. Yes, sir. South Dakota State, doesn't matter. Big boy football, AFC North, I love it. This is awesome. Winning football right here. This is how a team, a Steelers team, now I'm going to be honest, Pittsburgh fans, I think the Ravens are more talented than you guys across the board. I really think they're just a more talented team. But I tell you what, last Sunday, thanks to plays like this from McCormick, the Steelers were more physical. This is down and dirty, old school power football, pancake block stuff. I could watch this all day. This is awesome from McCormick. Gets a hat on a hat, drives his feet, puts 96 in the dirt on his back, Opens up a nice hole. Great play from the rookie here. All right, from the wide copy, watch McCormick right here. Looks great. Look at that contact and immediately buries him. Oh, my goodness gracious. This is awesome. Could watch this all day. It's it's really well blocked across the board, right? They get hat on hat. 83 cuts right cuts 95 right there. You can see the cutback lane. Now she Harris hits it north and south. Cross the board. Really well done by the Steelers. But the key block, or at least the best block, probably all day for anybody, was McCormick right here on 96. Pancake from the rookie. All right, going to the passing game now, we're going to get a little screen action from the Pittsburgh Steelers. We're going to get we're going to get 83 right there. He's going to come in motion, pre-snap to get some flow from the Ravens linebackers and safeties. We're going to get a little play action here from Najee Harris before he works out in the flat to catch the screen game. We're going to get everyone selling run inside between these two guards in the center and then leak out in the flat. Folks, I want you guys to watch McCormick right here deliver the key block to allow Najee Harris to turn this play into a big play for the Steelers offense. Let's check it out. There's a motion. There's the snap, play action. You can see they're selling it, get out in space. Hats on hats, 73, nice job. He springs him, McCormick downfield, delivers a shot. Najee Harris does the hurdle, gets killed. I tell you what, he needs to stop the hurdle stuff. It's getting a little ridiculous. Let's look at McCormick here. Look how far he's running. Rookie, South Dakota State. How good of an athlete is he playing at South Dakota State? I tell you what, good enough to run 30, 40, 50 yards and get a block on zero. Roquan Smith, he's a great football player, supposedly, right? He is a good player. But I tell you what, McCormick, hat on hat, blows him out of the way, opens up Najee Harris for nearly really nice run here. But you know what I really love, folks? Watch McCormick's feistiness. Stays on him, stays on him, shove him, boom, hit at the end. I love it. That's awesome. You talk about rivalry football, AFC North, watch this all day. Deliver a shot, deliver another one, deliver another one, and another one. That's good old-fashioned physical football. That's nasty stuff. You talk about what it takes to win in this division, that's it right there. Yeah, Nick, and this has been a step up for McCormick, especially the last two games, I would say. He's been on and off in the pass block game this whole season. He had really two good games to start the season, week three, week four. Pretty bad games. If you look week five, six, and week eight, he had a 16 pass blocking grade. Then the last two games, really good, especially this one, a 73.6 pass blocking grade for him doing a really good job of being more consistent in the pass blocking game for McCormick. 
All right, let's go back to some old school power football. So we're going to get 80 in motion pre-snap, and he's going to lead and kick out the end man on the line of scrimmage. We're going to get 65 and 73, the left tackle, left guard. They're going to fan out and take out the defensive end and that defensive tackle right there. Let me clear up the picture for you guys. And it's going to be a design cutback. 83 and Najee Harris are going to take steps this way. 83 is going to lead in the hole just like this, and Najee Harris is going to find him. The key block here is this double team right here, Frazier, the other really good rookie, and McCormick. They've got to get movement on this nose tackle and then get up to the next level to allow Najee Harris to cut back right behind him. The rookie McCormick here does a phenomenal job. Let's check it out. There's the motion. Washington kicks out the end man. Nice work. Left tackle, left guard. Let's check them out. Fan out. They handle their business. Let's look at this double team. Key block right here. McCormick, Frazier. Look at that movement. Dislocation up to next level. Winning football. That's it. This is how you win, folks. Football can be really simple if you're this good up front dislocating that nose card, getting up to the next level, big hole from the running back. This game can be incredibly complex, but can also be incredibly simple. If you do good work inside at center and guard at double team, you win football games. And the Steelers have made it so simple. And guys like McCormick, a guy nobody expected to come out and play like this, is off to a great start. Look at this dislocation. Look at where this nose tackle started at the snap, right? Let's play into this a little bit right here. He's about just to the left of the, let me back up to the very beginning there. He starts out right up the hash, right on the hash. Look where he ends up. About, what, fourth, five yards to the left of the hash, and McCormick gets on the next level. Look at all this green grass. This is great blocking up front, winning football from the Pittsburgh Steelers. All right, from the wide copy, watch Frazier McCormick right here, center right guard, deliver this punishing double team at the point of attack, 80 in motion, dislocation, next level. Look at all this green grass that opens up. That happens when you get movement. You hear announcers talk about movement. This is what you're talking about. Great job by 66 and 54 here. All right, let's show one of my favorite plays from McCormick. There he is, of course, at right guard for the Steelers. So it's going to be a toss out here. And on the back side, you're really just trying to cut off these guys and try and cut people off on the next level. I want you guys to watch McCormick. Watch how he has his head on a swivel. He works to help cut off this defensive lineman right here, but he's also looking for people to block, people that he needs to hit to allow his team to have success. I love his mentality. Let's check it out. There's a snap. There's a toss. Look, on the backside, you see they're just trying to cut people off right here. Cut off 96. Frazier does a job right there. McCormick helps a little bit, then turns around and gets a shot on Marlon Humphrey, the corner for the Baltimore Ravens. Is this an impact block, a game-changing play? No, but watch here. I love the fact he's got a head on a swivel. He's looking for people to block because you never know, right? You never know what happens. Does Warren somehow cut back behind this and escape for a big play? Maybe he does, and maybe it happens because you've got a young offensive lineman recognizing he just needs to find someone to hit. He needs to protect the backside. It's the little things. It's physical football. That wins number one. Number two is the little things. It's recognizing, okay, let me find someone to block here. Let me help my teammates out. And that's exactly what he does here. All right, how about a little athleticism from McCormick right there? This time he's going to pull and kick out the A-man on the line of scrimmage. Everyone else from the Pittsburgh Steelers is going to down block inside, working up to the next level, down block here to create Ideally, a seal here, and then McCormick's going to come and create a seal here. We're going to get the running back to go in motion, and then Fields is going to take the snap and work right here. Now, this is what happens when you play physical football, when you're a good athlete and you're tough and nasty. When you go out to block people at the point of attack, they jump around blocks and they make it easy for you. This is a great example of it right here from McCormick's perspective. Let's check it out. All right, 30 goes in motion. There's a snap. All the down blocks across the board. Field is going to keep it himself. Watch what happens on this line of scrimmage right here on the right. Watch 99. Oh, wait, right there. What's he do? He needs to take on McCormick. He needs to be a physical presence on the edge. 99 jumps out of the way. Justin Fields takes it for a nice run. Don't slide there, man. Got to win the game. But I tell you what, this is what happens when you play physical football for four quarters. Defensive linemen, they get tired of it. They get tired of getting hit, right? They get tired of playing nasty football. They want to get sacks. They want to get tackles for loss, right? They want to show up where the broadcasters talk about how fast they are, things like that. But if you run at them like this with this much aggressiveness, they'll jump around blocks. They get tired of playing physical football. And that's what happened with some of these Ravens players, right? They got a little tired of getting hit in the mouth, even though they're Oway right here, 99. He's a good player. Most of these Ravens are really good players, especially on defense. But I tell you what, Guys like McCormick, they brought a physical nature, and by the end of the game, the Ravens wanted no part of it, and it opened up a lot of good opportunities like we saw here for the Pittsburgh Steelers. Yeah, Nick, and again, we talk about consistency in the run block game. I'd say run blocking throughout this season for McCormick, he's had higher lows, if that makes sense, but he's also had lower highs. And But this week, he's coming back to that consistent level a 69.2 run blocking game 
Across the board, green in his PFF grades for McCormick. He's looking really good. 73.1 overall offensive blocking grade for him. Doing a really great job. Zero sacks on the season. So I think overall, McCormick, he's done a really good job. He's getting more and more consistent, making less and less mistakes. In this game right here, this was a crucial one for him to do good in, and he came up big here against the Ravens. All right, we're going to go with an outside zone scheme here. Najee Harris is going to take a water path before he looks for a cutback opportunity, getting north and south. And what happens here, the Steelers are going to take number 15 in motion pre-snap. He's going to lead through right here just to deliver some movement. And we're going to get everyone on the play side, starting with Frazier, left guard, left tackle, tight end. They're going to run and try and reach people, get hats on hats, and get movements, right? They want this defense dislocated that way to open up a cutback opportunity either up the hash or either farther inside for Najee Harris. Now, what does that mean for McCormick here on the backside? He's got to get 98, this two-eye technique. We call him a two-eye because he's on the inside eye of the guard right there. If he was on the outside shoulder, he would be a three technique. If he was head up, sometimes you refer to that as a two technique. Most people still call that a two-eye just for gap understanding purposes. But regardless, McCormick's responsibility is to get 98 cut off. And this is an example of McCormick doing the little things that opens up the running game. Let's check it out. There's a the motion. There's a snap. We can see the wide zone path. Everyone's running to dislocate the defense. Let's go back and look at McCormick here. Watch where 98 starts. He starts to the right. His helmet is starts to the right of McCormick. Where does McCormick end up? Right there. 98's helmet is to the left, right? He's got 98 cut off there. Nice work. Watch Roquan Smith. He kind of slow plays this, right? It's an outside zone. He's not sprinting to cover all this ground to maybe shoot a gap. He has to slow play it. Why? Because he sees this green grass right in front of him. Right here, he sees this cutback opportunity for Najee Harris. Smith is not an idiot. He knows football. He knows if he flies too far aggressively to the right side of your screen, Najee Harris will cut back, follow McCormick's block, and there's a chance for a big play. So he's got to slow play it. What does that mean? It allows 65 to get up to him, deliver a shot, and Najee Harris gets to continue to press it for a really nice run. Again, little things. Impact block is going to make your highlight film. No, not at all. But doing your job, Fighting and scrapping, running your feet, it results in another win for the Steelers' offense. All right, let's show a normal kind of standard pass protection here. So the Steelers are going to slide their protection to the right side of your screen, the offensive left. So what does that mean? We're going to get 65. He's basically one-on-one -on -one with 99 right there. 73, he's got help on the outside shoulder of this defensive lineman. 54 is going to come over and take the inside shoulder. So basically, these two guys have this guy right here. That means McCormick, he's one-on-one -on, -one on 98 right there. This is not an easy task because your first and foremost priority is to prevent this immediate penetration. But this defensive lineman, he almost has a three-way go, right? He can go kind of outside. He can go kind of through you. Or he can come back across your face just like this. This is a tough assignment. For any offensive lineman, especially a rookie guard in a big time division matchup, McCormick's more than up for the task. Let's check it out. There's a snap. You can see offensive line slide and take the gap over to their left. 73 right there. It goes a little far inside to help with 92, but he's looking at that gap. It means McCormick and 77 here on the backside. They're one on one. Let's watch McCormick. Watch how he takes his first step inside right there. Right there, you see how he took his foot one step over to his left to cover up and protect that inside gap. That's smart. Then he redirects, gets into 98, great technique, good base, drops his hips, and stays right there. See how his helmet's below 98? He's in a good position right there. And I know he gets run over a little bit, but he keeps fighting, allows the quarterback to step up, no pressure in his face, deliver the ball. This is awesome. This is winning football at the guard position, regardless of who you are, right? This wins, right? No matter what situation, what down and distance, whoever your quarterback is, this gets it done. Because right here, you protected the immediate pressure in his face. You protected against any outside pressure. And by fighting and scratching and clawing, you allow your quarterback to step up. You give up a little ground and you get run over slowly. Hey, that's part of it. You got to do that in the National Football League sometimes, especially against some of these bigger defensive tackles. But overall, nice rep from McCormick here. Yeah, Nick, and one other great thing McCormick did this game, and he's done kind of all season, really, is avoiding penalties. Only two penalties on the season for McCormick, but in a game like this, a chippy rivalry game that was strewn with yellow flags on the field, nearly 20 penalties in this game as a whole, I think McCormick did a really, really good job of avoiding any negative plays for the Steelers team because, as we know, the score was close enough as it is. Anything like that could have set this team back. But McCormick, they kept their cool. And this is a guy who played really clean football against a really talented rival that could have gone either way.
All right, let's end on the game clinching play for the Pittsburgh Steelers. The Steelers need to get to that denominator right there to move the change. It's third and about one. They're going to stick with their inside zone concept. They've ran a lot, and like you've seen this cut up, 80 is going to come across the formation right there. We're going to get basically zone blocking. Everyone take a gap to the right, work up, get movement, get hats on hats, dislocate people, and get a first down, get one yard to win the game. And this is an example of McCormick that we've seen all season long from the rookie. Is it technically perfect? No, right. Is he the most dominant performer of all time? Absolutely not. But does he get the job done? And this is what we're talking about because it's a resounding yes. He delivers a nice block, gets movement, keeps fighting, drives his defender past the line to gain, results in an easy first down. Let's check it out. All right, there's a snap. We can see the zone double teams across the board. Washington come across the formation. Look at McCormick here. Delivers a strike. Not great, right? He's high. Not great technique. Foot placement. That's not phenomenal, right? A lot of things to clean up. But watch how he keeps driving and moving his feet. He keeps working, keeps pushing, keeps driving, keeps throwing people around. Doesn't give up an inch. This is winning football. It's not going to be pretty in the trenches all the time. In fact, most of the time it won't be. A lot of times, and Frazier give credit to him. He did a really nice job here. Had a really nice game as well. But when it comes to McCormick, sometimes it's pretty. Sometimes he looks like a beast. But a lot of times inside, it won't be. It's those plays where it's ugly, those big third downs late in the game where you're willing to keep moving your feet, keep fighting to deliver your team a victory. Those are the things I like from McCormick. It's old school Steeler power football. We talked about it a lot with Frazier. We're seeing it more with McCormick. This young interior of the offensive line will be a strength for this offense for years to come.